Welcome to the 2017 Kahoot tutorial. So to get there, it's kahoot.com. It used to be getkahoot.com, but now it's just kahoot.com. And then it takes you to this opening homepage. Uh, so this is for teachers. Uh, if you wanted to, once a teacher creates an account, if you want to log in as a student, that hasn't changed. It's kahoot.it, kahoot and then they just plug the game pin in. Uh, and there's some other security measures, too, that they added if you want it. Um, so kahoot.com. Um, I'm going to click sign in. You can click sign up if you don't have an account. Uh, the nice thing that they added recently is a sign in with Google. So I'm going to click sign in with Google and click on my Google account. And now I'm signed into my Google account. So right here, how to play Kahoot. You can watch this if you want. Uh, you can click on my Kahoots. Uh, this is a list of all your Kahoots that you have, whether you created it or you duplicated it. Uh, you can find Kahoots, you can search for them, and then there's frequent asked questions. Here you can change your email preferences, profile, and password, and so on. So I'm just going to search for one, addition. You can filter at the top, so whether you want school or whether you want a certain language and so on. So you can click on one once you scroll down, once you filter some stuff and it shows you all the different questions that are in this Kahoot specifically. So I'm going to click show answers. So here's your answers. Uh, here's the correct answer for plus two is six. Hide answers and you can do this one would be ten and so on. Okay. So if you like this Kahoot you can actually duplicate and change it or you can just um, you can favorite it and that way you can play it whenever you want. So if you don't really need to change it or do anything with it, you can just favorite it and that'll make it easier for you to access and find in the future. If you want to change and add to it, you duplicate it. And then you can share it uh, here as well. Um, so this is another nice thing to look at. There's 20 questions. Um, this, is, this was played 6,000 times. There's 41,000 people that played it. And then 585 people favored it. And then there's four shares. So uh, you can see with this whether it's a legitimate Kahoot or not or how much is actually being used. Um, this challenge mode is coming soon. It's in a sense a homework mode. So you can play a Kahoot like for homework or on your own or practice rather than um, just in class which is what it is right now. So I'm going to click on play. I'll go back to the editing portion later but play. Um, I like the 1v1 over the team mode, but you can do both of them. Here's the game options. There's a bonus, bonus streak if you want. There's a podium, random order of questions if you want, random order of answers. Enable two-step join, which actually makes you plug in the pin and plug in um, a random sequence of the, uh, the shapes. Every seven seconds it changes. So display pin throughout. Whether you want that, automatically move through questions, require players to rejoin after each who. Um, so a couple of different options down there for you. So I'm going to click on play the classic. And here we go. Get your phone. It takes a second to set up. But then here is 932663. And I'll go here. 992. Is it 992-932-663. I think that's what it was. Yep. And then you plug in your nickname. And then it says you have to match this pattern. This is so people don't random randomly crash cahoots and you have a hundred people in when you only have thirty people in front of you. So every seconds every seven seconds it changes. So I'm gonna wait for a new one. So circle diamond. Okay. So then you're in. Uh, the pin is still up here. Um, and here's high, so you can just click, as a teacher, you just click this high and you can kick them out. And right now it is going to start, so here we go, 20 questions, are you ready? For people who wanted to join, um, the pin still shows up at the bottom and the pattern still shows up at the bottom, so they have to do it right away. So now we have 2 plus 2, obviously this is the correct answer, this is what show, what is shown on the teacher's screen, or the overhead, and then this is what it shows on a student's laptop or uh, mobile phone. So click here, that's correct. I got 609 points. The answer streak is one. I'm in first place because I'm the only person. Um, so I can go all the way through. The teacher then gets the quiz. 
um, results and can see by the nickname who got right, who got everything right, who got everything wrong, and so on, so they can adjust how they teach. All right, so let's get out of here. I'm going to go back to uh, my cahoots. So right here, there's a couple different options. So you can, if you have a favorited or something else. So I duplicated this one. You can edit this. You can duplicate it again if you want to change like multiple versions. Uh, you can delete it from here, and then also you can make it um, public or private. So you can see play, share, favorite, and so on. So I'm going to click on edit. I'm going to show you how to edit these things. So you obviously have the save button. So as soon as you make a change, you can click save. Here are all of my questions. If I wanted to reorder them, I would just drag one up, one down. Time limit, if you want to change that, it's right here. And then let's say this question I want to change and add something to it. I would just keep typing. Award points, yes. Here are my different options. Here's the correct answer, Asia, and then where I got the question from. I would click save. I can change this. You can add um, images or video or something along those lines. So we'll click next, add question. So here's your image, upload image, add video. So they're all right there. So let's click close. OK, save. And now we can share it. We can play it. We can preview it. We can go back to edit it. So I'll share it. And here's the link to share it. So I'm done. I'm going to go back. And if you click on share and you know the person's username, um, then you can click on share and type in um, what their username would be. So mine would be Bryce J or Bryce J A. Either one um, would get the Kahoot to me. So that's pretty much a brief overview of how to use it. Uh, I hope you find this tutorial useful and uh, I hope that you use it in your classroom.